it is 11 degrees this morning. Man, is it cold. We started this channel to share our love of agriculture, to show you what we do every day at our full-time farming jobs and on our own little ranch. I hope you enjoy it. Good news, the stock tank heater is working. I put that in yesterday morning, plugged it in. As you can see, maybe you can't see, there's a little steam coming off the water. If you're gonna have one of these, I would highly recommend building something like I have here with this PVC pipe to protect the cord. Otherwise, they'll, the cows will grab a hold of the cord and flip the, the heater up out of the tank. Or I've had the cats actually climb up on the tank and chew the cord up before so okay so the freeze proof hydrant does freeze so last year i built this little hot box for it and i've got a heat lamp hung in there so i'm hoping it kept it warm enough overnight that it's actually going to work this morning all right let's see yep awesome that's a big plus uh, one thing that's not going to work however is my pvc system because as you can see, it is frozen full of ice. Uh, the night before it froze, I forgot to take that plug off the bottom to drain it. So, so for the first time in my lifetime, I was actually thinking ahead. I put this garden hose in the basement last night uh, because I was afraid there might've been some ice plugs frozen in it. Um, so this morning, I got it out, it's nice and flexible and we are successfully watering the cows. Hopefully tomorrow, it's supposed to get up to 40 degrees and hopefully it'll actually do that and thaw out that junction on the PVC system so that I can go back to the easy way of watering them. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna be really happy that I can get water there. Well, it is Saturday morning. The cattle are watered. I'm on the way to the field to see if the combine and the grain cart tractor are going to start. We didn't even combine yesterday. Uh, waking up to that inch of snow on the ground the, uh, the ground underneath it was just a little bit slimy and slippery and since this field that we're combining right now is going to be no-tilled beans next year, we really don't want to make any kind of a mess at all if we can avoid it. So what we're doing now is we're starting engines and hoping that they're all going to start. Sometimes diesel engines are a little fussy when it gets cold, but 11 degrees above zero is not that bad in Iowa. So. If the combine and the grain cart tractor and the semi will all start this morning, we're going to be combining. ride in this combine for the first, I don't know, half an hour or so until these tires get warmed up. Wintertime farming. Uh oh, it's officially afternoon. I better stop and see what's in the fridge. Those of you who thought I was kidding about having a fridge in the combine, why would I joke about something so important?
All I can think about right now is that TV show Ice Road Truckers. Just yesterday morning, there's no way we would have been able to turn around in this field even empty with the truck because it was just so slimy and greasy. And now here we are loading the truck right in the field and it's just like concrete. Mother Nature did us a solid this time. Now a normal person would say to themselves, self, you just got done with a day of harvest, it's Saturday night, go home, relax, enjoy yourself. But not me, because I'm not normal, and I'm too much of a tightwad to let this opportunity pass. This piece of equipment that I have clamped in the vise right here is the front drive shaft off my wife's car. And this joint on this end of it is what was causing all of the problems. Some people just buy this entire shaft and replace that, which is $385. But I got the parts in this white box here off of amazon.com to replace this joint at the end of the shaft for $40. You know what, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna give it a try, it seems worth it to me. Here we go. 